love down there. Fifth grade, fourth grade. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Oh, come on, it's Friday. We're outside. You can use big voices. Good morning, boys and girls. <laughs> the KES school spirit. Boys and girls, this morning we are so lucky to celebrate our Constitution Day, which was actually earlier in the week. Um, we have some friends that are going to share some, some really cool facts, and some of you have been working very, very hard on some singing, but before we do that, we are going to go ahead and start with a pledge. May I have a volunteer out in the audience to start us off? Raise your hand. Caroline. Carrie had a big one. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Thank you, third grade, for ending that very nicely. Great job. So boys and girls, let's start with our fifth graders. So we're going to have them line up here, and they have some really interesting facts about Constitution Day. So let's have our boys and girls line up right along here, and then we're going to hand them the microphone. Boys and girls, let's remember, although we're outside, this is our a school assembly, so show us your ultimate respect. These boys and girls really worked very hard, and they did not have a whole lot of time. Some of them actually memorized their entire line, so nice and loud. The Constitution of the United States, the Supreme Law of the United States of America was written in 1787. Even view the Constitution of the National Archives located in Washington. <laughs> The U.S. Constitution was prepared behind locked doors that were guarded by centuries. It was established in November 26, 1789. The first National Thanksgiving Day was originally created by George Washington as a way of giving thanks for the Constitution. The Constitution is made of the preamble and the seven different articles. Together, these articles are the foundation of the, how the United States government is organized. The Articles of the Constitution also explain how the federal government interacts with the citizens, states, and people of the country. The United States Constitution divides its government into three branches. The executive branch, the president, the legislative branch, the Congress, and the judicial branch, the courts. The Constitution is a living document. This means it can be changed. Changes to the Constitution are called amendments. Currently there are 27 amendments. The first 10 amendments are known as the Bill of Rights. They describe the individual rights that citizens have, such as the right of free speech and the right to assemble in groups. The U.S. Constitution is not the only Constitution. Other nations also have Constitutions. However, the U.S. Constitution is the oldest and shortest of any major government in the world. Now for the preamble. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do oration and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Boys and girls, let's give them another huge round of applause. That was excellent. Thank you, fifth grade. Boys and girls, it's not easy for them to get up in front of all 500 of our students to do something like that. So they did a fabulous job. Thank you, boys and girls. And now I'm going to hand it over to Mrs. Broadwater, who has a special treat for us. 
That was amazing. I love when they come up and they read about the Constitution. We had actually talked about it in music class as we were also learning about the song America. They have been learning this song for the last couple of weeks and they are all ready and prepared to sing for you today. So if everyone could look at their pieces of music that I have given to you and teachers and parents, you are more than welcome to sing along with us as well. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Go, Canal! 